Hello everyone, I am the Stone Tank Engine, and today we're back with another episode of the Unpacking Series, this being episode 7. So here we have got two packages, as well it shows on screen. And don't worry, there's a lot of stuff in them, or at least in one of them. But without further ado, let's go on with our first pack. So here we have the wooden railway windmill and well honestly this thing is a bit more bigger than what I thought it would be. I mean wooden railway isn't like the biggest scaling but this is a bit more bigger than what I thought. And honestly it looks really good. Here we have a full rotation. The only thing I wish they would have had is the paint right here. That's really it honestly. Um. We'll just look at this individually. Oh, so it comes off. It's two separate pieces. I forgot to mention that. So this piece right here is all plastic, which I don't mind at all because, you know, it rolls pretty well. Uh, you see, you got like the windows, the back is just wood, stickers, even though, you know, it's actually made of wood. And then the windows again, and then more wood here. And then just the bottom for the base. Now the bottom base, I really like. It's got a good amount of detail in it. See, it's got the door, it's got some bushes, a few trees. Uh, okay. A few more pine trees, bushes. Ooh, ooh, I like that. That's cool. And, uh, yeah. This is pretty nice. Nothing in the bottom, because, well, you know, doesn't really need anything in the bottom. But, uh, yeah, we can just put this back like this. It assembles really quickly, you just place it down. But it can make it kind of, you know, pretty easy to take off, which could be a problem, or it could be very helpful. And as I said, it spins pretty well. And I actually really like that. Now I finally have a windmill for my little Thomas and Annie and Clarabelle. Oh, um, sorry, we had a few, uh, problems to take care of. But, uh, that's enough for the windmill, and let's get on with the next package. So here's what was in the final pack, and wow, I forgot this is all the stuff that came inside. So uh, let's just look at him real quick. So here we have a little red house, you know, it looks pretty nice. Don't think much about this little red house, I can just use it for like scenery and stuff. It looks pretty nice. It's got a lot of good details, which I really do like. So uh, yeah, that's pretty neat. Now we have this house, and if you see, it's got the beehive, so that's pretty cool. There's nothing on the back. I'm not sure if there was anything originally, but on mine it doesn't have anything. But yeah, nice little house. If you see, this might be familiar to a set. But um, yeah, pretty nice. Uh, next up we got just two little risers. Oh, uh, you know, it's pretty good. I need risers, so this is good. Very helpful. Next up we got this little tunnel thing uh you know just a few trees bushes as usual oh kind of dropped it whoops uh you know not too bad uh it's pretty okay i think it's the same side on both i think i'm, I'm not too sure we can just pass through it and oh it has click it's clickety clack track that's neat next up we have a shed i forgot what they're originally called but uh, here it is. I have one. And these aren't the most easiest to find, so I'm pretty happy I got one. I'm pretty sure there was detail right here, but I feel like it came off considering the wood looks a bit messed up. 
but hey, that's fine. Um, you can take off the roof, and that's pretty nice. I mean, this thing is actually really big. This is longer than what I thought it would be. But anyways, it has like no details, which is a bit surprising to be honest. But I mean, I have it. It's in pretty good nick. So yeah. Now let's move that aside, and then we have got this lifting bridge. And I'd wanted this for a while, and um, well, here it is now. So it's got the bricks. You can see it's got more detail out here. Uh, I'm pretty sure it should have like a roof piece here, but I guess it's not here, so that kind of sucks. But it's completely fine. Uh, you got the tracks, and you go through, and right here there's a little like uh, knob, and I guess it's supposed to. Oh, there we go. Ooh, this thing is very, very stiff. But it does work well. So, that's good. Okay, so I'm trying to press it down, but it's not going down anymore. Um, is, it, is this normal? I, I don't think it's... What the heck? So I just manually put it down. I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to work, but I guess that's how mine is. I wouldn't be surprised if it's not working properly. It is kind of old. But, hey, oh well. Uh, right here, he's- oh, I just noticed this. He said, like, a little, uh, what can you call it? I guess I can just call him a workman. That's pretty nice. Um, and, uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, all this stuff was pretty nice. i just put him back here real quick. Uh, yeah, this was too bad. I forgot this is how much that came in here. And I'm actually kind of proud, to be honest. I mean, I did pay a really good deal for this, and, uh, well, I feel like we might as well bring the windmill over here, so let me just get the windmill, and over here, let me just move a few things around, uh, I'll just put these over here, the house here, just move right there, and then here's the windmill, move that shit. but anyways, uh, this is all we got, and I am really, really proud. Because, well, this was actually really cheap. And so, I managed to get the windmill for a, a pretty good offer. And then, uh, this lot of destinations or accessories was pretty cheap too. So, I just snagged it. And I'm pretty proud I did. I mean, all of this stuff came for pretty good price actually. So, the windmill was 7 bucks. And the lot was like 22, 23 ish, something like that. I don't know. I'll probably put it right here on the on the screen right here. Uh, but um, yeah, I'm actually really, really happy with all this stuff. I mean, it's more than what I thought I would get. But I mean, it's here now, and since I played, uh, excuse me, played. Oh wait, no, not played. Paid. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Um. You know, it's not too bad, honestly. It's only around 30 bucks, and I actually dig that price. For all of this for 30, it's not bad. I mean, not counting the shipping or taxes or none of that. But overall, it was pretty good. I am well satisfied. And yeah, if you did notice, this is all like destinations and accessories. There was no engines or rolling stock, which I did not expect to do. But well, here we are now, and well, that's basically it so that was practically gonna wrap up the video thank you all for watching and i will see y'all next time goodbye